For 20 years, Raymond Arroyo has graced EWTN as the host of the world over. Raymond Arroyo, welcome to the program. Congratulations on your 20 year anniversary. 20 year grace, I'm not so sure, but I've been around for a while. <laughs> you've, so, you've been thank around you. the block. Yeah, you know, you true. have been here with EWTN. You are EWTN. Why did you come? Well, Mother Angelica is EWTN. Okay, all right, but be. you're number and, two. And that's why I came. Mother Angelica, I was assigned as a reporter. I was at the Associated Press. I had worked for Robert Novak here in town. Mm -hmm. I was a Capitol Hill correspondent on television when a friend of mine who's an editor here in D.C. said, would you do a piece on this nun in Birmingham, Alabama, who founded a TV network? I'd never heard of her. My mother and grandmother in New Orleans knew exactly who Mother Angelica was. I quickly found out. We met down in Birmingham, hit it off like and we'd known each other our whole lives. Magic. Well, the day I left, I, I was there for two days. On the day I left, she, she said, what you going to do? I said, well, <laughs> I'm going back. I'm, I'm, I'm actually talking to a network about being their Capitol Hill mm -hmm. correspondent when I leave the job I'm at. She said, well, why don't you come here and start our news operation? <laughs> and I said, mm, I'm not so sure. And it took a while. She stayed after me. And... Um, Wore me down. Yeah. Here I am, 20 years go. later, 20 still caught in her what are some fly of your trap. <laughs> fly trap, don't say that. What are some of your favorite moments? I know it oh, has well. to be interviewing a pope. Well, that was one of them. Pope Benedict was amazing. Just because he's brilliant, and it was scary and intimidating. <laughs> okay. I mean, you've got the one greatest <laughs> theological minds in front of you, and, you know, you're a 20-something-year-old kid going blah, 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 blah. Right. But he was astounding. His light and joy came through in that interview. His kind of antic sense of humor that, that I love. It's the only time I've ever seen that part of him on camera and it's the only English language interview he's ever done probably the only one he will do so I, I love that interview and you are always doing Jerry Lewis pieces well, well I've, I've interviewed him twice but I'd love to I, okay love I to always him. see them on the air uh, as in all of the reruns I, I watch could, <laughs> if I could I'd have Jerry on every night why I love Jerry Lewis Jerry Lewis is a genius he's a guy who created playback that, that you see in every, every, every any TV or, or, or film that's mm -hmm. shot, TV show, they use playback. They shoot the scene and then they play it back. Jerry Lewis coined that, created the technology. He was a master at seeing visual comedy. Uh, he coined so much the pratfalls and the things we take for granted. So to spend time with a legend like this, for me, was just unbelievable. He's also very temperamental. He's not a guy who likes to sit <laughs> for interviews. So the fact that he trusted me right. and opened up, I I treasure my. You time. were the lion tamer. Right? Yeah, well, he, was, <laughs> yeah, he may have been the he may have been the one taming the crazy. <laughs> ah, there Did you, you go. See that? Well, let's talk about your new book. It's yeah. the new one that's out this week. Will Wilder, Wilder, the Lost Staff of Wonders, yes. and this is the second installment of it this is. very popular fiction series. Yeah. What compelled you to write the fiction series and? to continue it in your second well, book. Well, I, reading to children like you do, um, reading to the kids, and we'd burn through so many of the series, and they wanted something else. Also, there's literacy, a big literacy problem in our country. 67% of kids are at reading proficiency in fourth grade, only 67%. All the rest are prime candidates for welfare and jail, according to the statistics. Literacy is so important. So I wrote the series to excite kids about an adventure and about the journey. I love that Will Wilder goes on these adventures with his whole family, his great Aunt Lucille, his mom, his dad, his brother and sister. It's one of the few middle grade series that allows that. And my publisher at Random House is Barbara Marcus, who discovered a little writer named J.K. something. Oh, Rowling. gosh, wait, wait, that wait, wait. Rowling, name. right, and, uh, I got it. And so to have Barbara um, mother this book and this whole series, it's been incredible. And the second book, Staff of Moses Goes Missing, Plagues of the Old Testament. So you weave in falls. religion, you've got family going yeah. on. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. All Right. Great, Raymond great, Arroyo, great thank fun. you so much thank for joining you. us. Thank you for having me. Really appreciate it.